Welcome back everybody, it's Ostentatious here and as you can see from the start of the video this is one of my best multi-tool finds to date um, certainly one of my best, uh, definitely the rarest I've found and well worth a video this one um, so this is going to be just a fractionally longer video than normal because I just want to um, put things into context here with this tool um most people most hunters we kind of just strive to find really nice aesthetically pleasing multi-tools and there's definitely tools uh, in no man's sky which are considered rarer and more unique than other tools um so i guess for for, for multi-tool hunters like me um the kind of end game, the rarest multi-tool and kind of the tool we are always are trying to look for and find, um, you know, the, the ultimate, ultimate end game, best possible tool that most of us, not all of us, but most of us would consider their best finds is generally going to be an experimental rifle that has both plasma tubes as well as either crystals or horns on top so an experimental tool which is an exotic tool with two exotic attachments as a combo that is the rarest of rare like it's it's very uncommon to to kind of just stumble across experimental or alien rifles in any case but um once you start adding certain attachments onto any of those tools like crystal like plasma tubes you've got kind of less than five percent chance of a tool um, showing with just one of those attachments so basically the odds are very much against you to try and find an experimental rifle that has two exotic attachments um, i've found a pistol before um, that it, which is actually still there as well like uh, about two years ago i found a white pistol with uh, horns and glow tubes very very popular uh, certainly one of the rarer tools I've found um, but this is the rifle this is a rifle it's it's got both plasma tubes and horns really easy to get because as you can see it's just behind me in the space station cabinet so there's no looking for settlements none of that um, nonsense it's just straight through the portal literally as soon as you come through head straight to the space station and it's waiting for you here um, so uh, yeah really easy this we're in Euclid galaxy so it's the starting galaxy and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the tool because it's an it's a, it's a C class so unfortunately we can't get this as an S class in the wild it's just a C class um, and you'll need 85,000 nanites to upgrade it from C to S which is well worth it because as I said it's it's a really nice looking tool but very very rare and unique as well um, there from what I can see this tool in red uh, with horns and plasma tubes has not been posted anywhere on the internet there's a couple that are, are posted with plasma tubes and crystals and plasma tubes and horns but not in red so um, yeah it's uh, it's a good find this one Right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to upgrade it. I'm sure most of you know. Uh, then I'm going to quickly fly down to the planet so you can see it in first person. And then I'm going to show you the glyphs at the end because the glyphs are going to be um, for the planet which is closest to the uh, space station. Right, with all that being said, so this is the tool. As you can see, um, it is red, dark red with uh, diamond decal, plasma tubes and horns. And I'll quickly show you it in the cabinet now. So there it is. It's a C-class. It's the Shock Entangler Mark, I think, is that 17? I'm not sure there. I think that's 17 in Roman numerals. But, yeah, it doesn't come with full slots. Um, so what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's got 17 slots, this, uh, as you can see, C-class. So pretty, pretty standard. Um, and you will need to upgrade it. But it's a great looking tool. Um, it's one of my favourite finds, definitely my rarest find. And as you can see there, the, the animated plasma tubes, the horns, 
and the red and black diamond decal is just A1. Super, this is like one of them tools that we try and find and then basically pack it all in and retire. <laughs> uh, I would prefer if it was black crystals on top or you know, maybe white or red crystals on top as opposed to horns, but even still, they're just as rare as crystals, the horns on these. So, um, yeah, it's good. Right, so let me just see what tools I'm currently holding on this save because I'm going to need to get rid of one or two. Uh, they're all pretty decent. Bear with me. These are just some tools that I've previously found. This is the other one that I found. So there's the pistol with horns and plasma tubes. This was um, this was a really really popular find. This one, it's still there. There's still the video, the glyphs and everything. They still work. So if you want this as well as the rifle that I've just found, you can do that. Um, let me. Sorry, I'm just trying to decide. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it! I've got six. I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these. I think I'm gonna go for. I'll get rid of this this one here. Yellow crystals. Uh, because this is this this one's going to be well worth. Um, this is a keeper. This one. Um, in fact, I'm. I might get rid of this plasma tube one here. Decisions, decisions, decisions. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one. This was a popular one I found with uh, on one of Zane's videos. Right. So basically, to, to upgrade it, you just buy it. So I'm going to need to exchange. And then what you do is you go to this little machine just to the right of the vendor, and it will cost eighty-five thousand nanites. So if, what what I'm going to do is ten thousand nanites gets you to a B class. And then another 25,000 nanites, I think it is. Yeah, it gets you to A class. And then another 50,000 nanites gets you to S. And then what you do as well is just, um, it costs you about a couple of million units uh, to upgrade the slots. So that's what we're going to do now. I've got plenty of cash and stuff. So yeah, that's all upgraded. So as you can see, we've upgraded it to 24 slots now, S class. And what I'm going to do now is fly down and show you very quickly what it's like in first person. Um, there's nothing else in this system, like pretty rubbish planets. There's no other decent tools. The S class tool, um, they're all kind of standard system tools. Planets are all pretty average and there's no really decent ships the only thing worth coming to this system for is this tool here so you can set up bases and build and do what you want for the trolls out there you can't block this because it's on the space station so uh gutted <laughs> um but yeah so i'm going to quickly just show you what it's like in first person and then right at the end i'll show you um i'll show you the glyphs so in first person, as you can see, it's um, it's dark red. You've got the horns there and the plasma tubes, which look really good. When storms come along, they really do glow as well. Um, but what you'll notice is if you're... Um, I use first person on derelict freighters, so that's the only really time I see tools in first person. But if you, if you cycle through the weapons attachments, you'll see that the tubes that, that are actually moving as well, they've got a slight animation to them. They change colour between blue and green. See those tubes changing colour there? So yeah, like depending on kind of what attachments that you're putting on, they just change between blue and green, which I think is quite a nice little touch. Again, very rare.
Um, so yeah, there we go. That's um, that is the tool in first person. One last three sixty of it here. Very very nice. I love that it's in red as well. Makes the tube stand out, and I think it goes really well with the horns. Really cool. Um, right, so your glyphs. This is what you need. You don't need coordinates because it's on the space station. So there's your glyphs. So those glyphs on your screen, they will bring you directly to this planet. Um, just basically, as soon as you come through the portal, uh, head straight up to the space station and the, the tool will already be in the cabinet waiting for you. Now, if it doesn't show and it's a completely different tool, the chances are that you might have just accidentally reloaded a save on this planet. Um, if the tool doesn't show, just keep reloading your save on the uh, space station and it will eventually appear. Really importantly, make sure multiplayer is switched off. Can't stress that enough. You need to make sure before you do anything, multiplayer is completely switched off. This tool, I reckon, is going to be relatively popular um, because a, a few f exotic finds of mine before have been. So if someone, if you've, if you've got multiplayer switched on and someone gets to that tool in the multiplayer servers be just before you do and they pick the tool up, the cabinet will remain empty. So you don't want that happening. So turn multiplayer off and then, and then come through the portal and come and, and grab the tool. But those glyphs are the glyphs that you need and then, uh, yeah, just head straight up to the um, space station. And there we go. So that's it. That's today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your new tool if you've come and picked this one up. Add it to hopefully a nice collection you've got. And um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care and see you later.